All right, we here. We here. Let's get it started, man. I'm get I'm getting sick and tired of seeing notaries sick and tired. I'm getting sick and tired of seeing notaries sick and tired. Notaries out here busted and disgusted, humiliated, getting lowball offers, got Diddy dancing all up in the video. Shamefully doing reverse mortgages for fifty dollars, and got the nerve to put it on YouTube like they doing some fly shit. They're getting their hand. Their ass handed to them in the notary circuit, getting beat up in the streets. Why? Because they're not even negotiating shit. They don't even know what a negotiating environment looks like. So they walk into a situation thinking that, hey, I'm going to put on my customer service hat on. And the person on the other line is like, I'm going to put on my negotiating hat on and put on my negotiating teeth and put on my negotiating claws and pack this warrior's knife on my side and cut back the gun. And you're walking in to a death zone. Notaries out here are afraid of success. I said it. Notaries out here are afraid of success. They're not even afraid of failure. Not at all. They're not afraid of failure because you don't have to do shit. To fail. You can literally do nothing and fail. So the only alternative is that they're afraid of success. They don't want to post too much on social media about their business because they are afraid that people aren't going to like them. Who gives a fuck? They're afraid that if they send out too many emails promoting their services and offerings, that people will unsubscribe. They're going to do that anyway. Y'all playing a dangerous game. You have a bunch of these fictitious people floating around in your mind talking you out of performing at an optimum level. You have absolutely faceless people in your heads telling you, don't send out too many emails. You're going to get people to unsubscribe. Don't send out too many posts. People will start to hate you. Don't be too controversial. People will start to send nasty messages to you. Wow, dude. And if you take the advice of those faceless characters, you cannot be mad that your business is doing shit numbers. Absolute shit numbers.
in the health club industry, we were so cold blooded. We would tell people, we would tell people, hey, you're in this health club right now. You want, you're thinking about buying a membership. Why? Because you're trying to go to a wedding that, and you know that you can't fit in that goddamn dress. If you walk out of this health club right now, one thing is guaranteed is that you will not fit in that dress. Now, many people will look at that and be like, ooh, that's just cold. That's just mean. That's cal." But let me tell you something. A lot of people that we hard sell, and that's another thing. People are soft selling now. Like, they're very soft shoe type of selling. Sad. It's sad. It's sad. But many of those people that we had to hard sell to join a membership, and by the way, the joining a membership back then was very difficult at Bad Week Total Fitness because we had to sell three-year memberships. Those people will come back and thank us and be like, you know what? That's the kick in the ass that I needed. That is the kick in the ass that I needed because I wasn't going to do shit. If somebody was passive with me and said, oh, well, you could join some other time. Oh, well, well you know, uh, just walk around the block two or three times. No, your ass need to get some of this personal training. You need to come into this gym at least three days a week, one hour a day. Matter of fact, take this Myoplex box, buy this Myoplex protein shake. You ain't got no workout gear today? Go to our pro shop and buy yourself some fucking spandex and a sports bra and get your ass on a treadmill. Why else would you come into the health club? The fuck you think we selling here? Cupcakes? Stop playing with your food, man. You're letting all of these weak, busted ass notaries walk up and, and snatch your food from right, uh, right under you because you want to play a nice, soft, safe game. Fuck, dude. This shit is ridiculous, man. I wish this shit worked. I wish this gun worked so I could shoot down these weak ass notaries that are out there. They fucking make me sick. You've taken time to learn from the best. You've created offerings from products to services to eBooks. And you keeping that shit to yourself? You're afraid that if you send out too many emails of, of just wonderful products that you have taken the time to create, you're afraid that a couple of naysayers ain't going to like you? Fuck them, dude! Unless you get a subscriber that says, you know what? I'll pay your mortgage this month if you slow down on your emails. I might consider it. But until that shit happens, and I've been doing this email marketing game for a long time, it ain't never happened. I'm going to keep pushing. You must understand you are working, you are operating in a very, very competitive time right now. Extremely competitive. For In order for you to get the attention of people, let's just use Instagram, for instance. Let's say your market is, is men on Instagram. Your target market is to attract men for whatever product or services that you're trying to get. Do you understand that you're competing with tits and ass on Instagram? 
You're competing with chicks twerking on Instagram. Tattoos on their thighs and everything. And you're going to just come up and say, hey, check out my course. Check out my product. Them <laughs> niggas scroll right by you, yo. <laughs> you don't have their attention. <laughs> Why do you think a lot of these cats, and I, I ain't going to mention any names, not yet. I will one day, but not yet. Why do you think a lot of these cats show off uh, Lamborghinis, Bentleys, and stuff like that? You Do you understand that is a, a, a lot of, that is actually a core foundation of their playbook? That is a core foundation of their playbook. It's because they know that like in their course, they tell them to go and rent a Lamborghini or rent a Bentley or a Rolls Royce and take pictures and film videos while they have them. I'm not even mad at them. I'm not even mad at them cats for doing that because they understand that they are fighting for attention. You know, people out here are looking at marketing way too seriously. You're viewing marketing way too seriously. You're looking at marketing like it's a, a legal law-abiding citizen entity when it's not. Marketing is probably the most unrestricted, free-ranged most creative space you could possibly be in any industry. You've been looking at marketing in such a serious, serious light, like, oh, that's unethical. They, should, they shouldn't promote that in their marketing piece. You fucking crazy. You, you see, have you ever been to New York? in Times Square at nighttime to see the level of bombardment you get hit with their advertising? Have you ever seen the marketing pieces that they do in Hong Kong? So you think you have to, and this is what I mean, like you're playing by the rules. You're looking at every other entrepreneur or or average or below average as notary that are marketing their services. All of them put a fucking stamp on their shit. How lame and cornballish is that? They're all smacking this, this very astute professional looking person. How cornball is that? And you wonder why nobody's looking at your post or clicking to see what you got going on. Let me give you an example how creative you should be getting with your marketing, and I don't care what type of space, I don't care if you're in the legal business, I've seen, look, they have a fucking Geico, a gecko selling insurance for God's sakes. They have a cartoon lion playing soccer with kids to sell some damn cereal. but you're taking your marketing extremely serious. I've seen lawyers create a commercial, an accident happens, and he walks right past the accident. Hey, this could be you. They're creative as heck. 
you're going to have to do different things if you expect to get different results. If you're following the herd of notaries out there with the same old blame old lame old marketing strategy, no wonder you're not getting the results that you're looking for. If you're se sending out an average amount of emails to clients and potential clients, no wonder you're bringing in average amount of money. You got to do some extraordinary shit to bring some extraordinary money in. And I ain't talking about having a gold-plated stamp. Your stamp ain't worth shit unless you close in the deal. Your stamp can't stamp nothing unless you close the deal. Your journal is worthless if you can't close a deal. I'm saving somebody today. I'm saving someone today. There are notaries out there that have been practicing notarial business practices for the last four years, and their price is still the same. Inflation and all. <laughs> Pandemic and all, their prices still remain the same. Yesterday's price is not today's price. You should always be going up on your price. Always. Like Starbucks, every year they go up on their price. Every year they go up on their price on, with coffee. How do you get better at your craft and you're still charging what you charged four years ago? How does that happen? June 24th and the 25th, next month, I will be doing my undisputed power of attorney masterclass for notaries. Listen, there's not one person that has taken that course and haven't made more money. Not one. And I've trained over 1,900 people with that course right there. That's why I put the golden box. That's the golden box. The undisputed power of attorney masterclass. June 24th and the 25th. You take this course, you won't need to take another power of attorney course. Period. Period. Nobody purchases anything from a Low energy, low confident person. If anything, it makes you want to put change in their cup. Poor guy, poor girl. Let me put a couple of dollars in their cup. A 
a client calls you, you have to understand what they're seeing even though you're not there. You have to see what they see. As they say on Thundercats, give me sight beyond sight. Client calls me about a power of attorney. I know more about the power of attorney than a lawyer, goddammit. I could go toe to toe with a law firm. Care that you went through all that damn school. I put myself through a self taught school, school of hard knocks. And I learned about power of attorneys. I learned about what the elderly are going through. I learned about what it took to be an agent. If I said I was thorough and being a power of attorney notary expert, it would be an understatement. But that's not where my gift is, understanding the power of attorney. My gift lies in finding profit pockets in the power of attorney process. See, here's the thing. A lot of you guys have this thing right here. Let me show it to you. You guys are spraying your entire body with the money repellent perfume slash cologne. You're using this shit like a cheap ass stripper. You're using this like a Walgreens body spray. You have one one of one of the businesses that I had in the past was a spray tanning business. And in that spray tanning business, some of our clients were strippers. And remarkably, the strippers would get these body sprays, lilac, cucumber, all kind of shit from Walgreens. And they would spray their entire body with this shit. I'm talking about 20, 20 to 35 spritz all over their body. Now, it, it smelled good. It definitely smelled good, right? But the fact that they bought it from Walgreens and it was cheap, they could afford to just spray their entire body with it. But when they had their more luxurious perfumes, like a Jimmy Choo's or a Versace or some, they're using maybe small little dabs one on their wrists, and then they're rubbing it on the wrist, and then they rub it on their neck. And they may spray their cooch one time for your mind. Many notaries out there are using the money repellent perfume cologne as a cheap Walgreens body spray. And you're spraying it all over your business. Hurting your business. Turning down money. People are throwing money at you. People are asking you, create a situation that I can spend more money with you. You refuse to do it. You should be, every single year, your sales should be going up. Every year. Every year, you should, your profit margin should be going up. But you're using that excuse as last year was a slow year. A whole fucking year? Get the power of attorney masterclass. It'll change your life. 